So today, probably the thing I get asked most about is Accutane. So I figured why not just do a live Instagram with my dog. Come here, bear. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, talking just about my Accutane experience and then whatever questions that you guys had. Accutane, I guess let's start with the basics. What is it? Accutane is basically just a straight form of vitamin A. It's prescribed by your dermatologist and Really, it's only used to treat severe acne and it's used as a last resort. So when other things haven't worked, like uh, antibiotics or different topicals that you've been descri described, prescribed, then your dermatologist will go ahead and put you on Accutane. Um, it's never, ever, I've never heard of it being like the first step. Personally, I went in, I got prescribed a couple of different things. I know I took, um, or I used Axone which is like a topical. And then I used Retin-A before, I'm pretty sure, which is a topical. And then I tried the, it's one of the cyclates. I think it's doxycycline, but it made me so sick. I threw up for probably like three or four days straight. It just made me so nauseous, I couldn't. Um, but yes, Accutane clears, okay, let's get closer, okay. Accutane will clear um, all acne, so it'll clear you know anything on your face, chest, back, any of that. I only had it on my cheeks right here. Um, so yeah, it does, it clears all of your acne. And basically, you usually do a five to six month course. Mine was supposed to be five, but it got stretched out to six months. Uh, I didn't really have two severe side effects while on it. Uh, what it works, like how it works is that it shrinks your sebaceous, like your oil glands down to the size of a baby's so that they can no longer produce as much oil. Each month you're on Accutane too. It's not just like, they won't just give it to you. Um, you have to jump through, I'm not kidding, so many hoops. Like it's, it's a little ridiculous, but I, I do know why they do it because it's such an intense drug. So I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. So first, you go to your dermatologist appointment, and then after your dermatologist appointment, they'll make you go get your blood drawn. And then once you get your blood drawn from a center, they'll send it back to your dermatologist. And then if your dermatologist says that it's okay, then they will go ahead and fill that prescription for you. But before you can get it picked up, you have to go online and answer monthly questions on a site called iPledge. I don't know if you have to do it if you're a male, but you have to do it if you're a female. Uh, basically just asking you very basic questions regarding um, the, 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 the uh, sexual things. Um, but you have to be on like two different forms of birth control. So, um, you know, like oral and condoms or whatever. Uh, the reason for that is because you cannot get pregnant while you're on Accutane. You can get pregnant after, it will not affect anything. Your baby will be completely fine but you do not want to get pregnant while you're on it because it's such an intense drug, it can cause um, like severe birth defects. And that process is something that you have to go through monthly. And I live in the United States, so I don't know what it's like um, in other parts, but yes, in the United States, that is what you have to do every single month. Um, so, I mean, I guess you guys could look through my pictures and see my side effects, but I figured I would just go month by month. So the first month, I didn't really have anything happen. I just, you know, I got chapped lips and then um, all the zits that I had started to dry up. My skin never got worse, it only got better, which my dermatologist actually said was more common. I know a lot of people have an initial breakout where their skin will like purge everything, uh, but my skin only got better, so. I don't know, girl. And then in my second month, my lips were very chapped. Uh, I also had a few, just like a couple of cysts pop up. And I, that was when I started to feel really sluggish and tired. Uh, on me, it was super hard on my joints, especially being on my feet all day uh, with work and school and everything like that. I would literally probably take probably like 10 to 15 minutes to get out of bed in the morning because I couldn't just like pop up. I had to like roll slowly on my side and then I could get up. It's that hard on your joints and you can't just like bend down and pick stuff up. You have to go slow. Like it makes you feel like you're a little old lady, a little bit. 
Um, so yeah, I started to feel tired in my second month, and then in my third month, I was extremely tired, like extremely, and that was also when the redness in my scars began to fade. Um, then my fourth month, the tiredness kind of died down a little bit, and that was when I started to notice significant improvement in my scars. Um, I didn't really break out past that point. I think I got maybe a pimple or two on my period. Um, in my fifth month, that was when I started to get, and they've gone away since, kind of, but that was when I started to get these hot face flashes where my face turned bright red. Like, it just would get really hot. Like, when you drink, um, if you've, like, ever drank, uh, I don't know, ca too much caffeine, and you get the niacin flush where your face gets, like, bright, hot red, that was what would happen, but I didn't have any caffeine. Uh, so... I haven't had it as much since I started using the more natural products from Banish, but I was getting it really bad before. But yeah, in my sixth month, I just, I was so tired. And to give you an example, I remember one night I was driving home from work and I like, not, I didn't, okay, I didn't fall asleep, kind of. I kind of fell asleep, like at the wheel. But I was, I remember I was in one lane and I closed my eyes and I woke up and I was in the other lane. So yeah, that's how tired I was. And I'm just, you know, I'm glad it's over. And I get a lot of questions about post-Accutane too. I do still break out. Um, I still will get like some down here around my period, or you guys saw, if you follow me on Snapchat, I had one that was right here. I mean, that's not enough to make me want to go back on it. I feel like that's normal. I'm still like going through hormonal changes. I'm still a kid, so. I don't think I'll go back on it, and especially since it's so hard on my body. Um, I mean, I know it'll go away eventually, so, you know. Uh, what else? Oh, people ask me about hair loss a lot. So, I didn't lose any hair while I was on Accutane. Now, it looks, it looks good. It looks good. But it did not look good when I was on Accutane. Even my sister had told me that, girl, your hair looks dead. <laughs> I was like, you guys cold, girl. Um, yeah, so I was losing a little bit about probably, I want to say four to five months post is when I started to notice that I was losing a lot of hair. Like it would be in the shower or um, when I got out of the shower mostly, it would be just like clumps of hair. And I know it probably looks pretty thick now, but this is, I would say this is like normal hair. Um, and I used to have really thick hair. So, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not the hair I used to have. Uh, but I have noticed that it has started to reverse a little bit um, the past month. So, I probably lost hair for about, what is that then, four or five months. So, yeah, the past month it has started to reverse, and that's because I think I have been using a new shampoo and conditioner, and I have been um, using cold water on my hair and brushing it with a wet brush. That's like the name brand brush is W-E-T. That works really good for detangling if you have um, like a sensitive scalp and your hair's falling out, get one of those, it works. One thing that no one talks about, and I'm just gonna say it because no one says it, and it's a real life thing. Um, so Accutane dries you out everywhere, everywhere. Like your eyeballs, I had to put in eye drops every day, my nose, my nose would bleed sometimes, your mouth, you have to constantly drink water. Like, just think of like anything, you know? Okay, so down, it dries, it dries everything out. Um, so you have to make sure that you like are constantly like moisturized and staying hydrated. So I'm gonna answer some of your guys' questions. Acne scars, I use Banish, what else do I do for them? Um, I just use Banish right now. I try not to use too many products because I feel like sometimes that can break you out if you're like over exfoliating your skin. So I kind of try to keep it simple, like that saying, keep it simple, silly. Did my skin go back to oily? Uh, a little bit, but not as much as it was before. Like if you can probably see it now, how it kind of has like a little bit of a glow to it. I don't mind that. Honestly, I think that looks kind of good. Um, I'm happy it's not as dry as it was before because it was like, it was unbearable. Like I couldn't even move my face sometimes when I was on Accutane because it was so dry. I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen, but like you put on foundation and then throughout the day, like it looks good. And then it's like cracking and you can like see cracks in it. 
yeah so i'm actually kind of happy that my oil is back i would say it's a back about probably halfway which i'm fine with did it help cure back acne yeah so it does it cures all body acne which is awesome where to get it from? Oh, you have to be prescribed by a dermatologist. So they have to, you know, you have to go through the eval evaluation and they have to determine that, yes, this is the best treatment option for you. Um, dry acne, from what I've noticed on my skin for dry acne, I just leave it alone. I wouldn't put anything on it because it's probably just irritation. Um, even if it does have a whitehead, a lot of times for me, I just overdo it on the skincare products because I'm obsessed. I mean, come on. Um, so yeah, just, I would leave it alone and maybe use some like aloe vera. Take a pic of it on my Instagram story. Uh, if you're talking about Accutane, you can go back through my posts and I have uh, pictures that you can look at, girl. Okay, my parents are always creeping on here. So my dad says, so since you're not on Accutane now, when can I expect a grandson, lol? Okay, bye dad. Let me finish school first, then we'll, we'll think about it. I am in the US, where can I get it? You have to be prescribed by a dermatologist. What lipstick is this one? Okay, so I actually have this one memorized because I knew that someone was gonna ask because you guys always ask. Um, this one is the Urban Decay, the liquid lipstick in 1993. And they have it in the original lipstick form too. But the shade is 1993. What foundation do I use? Um, so I was thinking about doing a whole story where I just show like all of my favorite skincare and all my favorite foundation. Maybe whenever, I mean, I could do it whenever I have time, but what do you guys think about that? I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but I usually use the Pro Glow and the Pro Matte by Riel. Uh, I'll mix them together or I'll put what I've started doing because I think I got this from actually like a beauty guru person, um, but I take the Pro Glow and put it all basically on my face and then I just put the Pro Matte like right here so that that way I don't have to like you know, touch up the oily parts throughout the day. What has worked the best for reducing scars? Time, honestly, and derma rolling. Uh, I would say there's, for scars, if they're, you know, if it's like red, then maybe try rosehip oil, but if it's texture, it's definitely gonna take time and some type of abrasive treatment. So derma rolling has definitely helped the most for me. Okay, so how long does it take acne scars to fade? Um, it, acne scars are actually genetic, so the healing process depends on the person. So that's like the crazy thing about acne too, and my dermatologist told me this as well, is that there could be someone completely covered with pimples and they could not scar, like not at all. And then there could be someone who gets like two and has the worst scarring ever. So just like acne can be genetic, scarring's genetic as well, and the time healing just depends on the person. But what I do know is that the younger that you are, you produce collagen faster, so it should fade faster. I'm on Accutane. My lashes are so long, only plus of Accutane. Well, that's cool. I'm glad they made your lashes grow. Um, speed up the process of fading acne scars. Any DIYs? Um, I, I used rosehip oil. I really like rosehip oil and um, just straight up aloe vera. Uh, you can, if you just buy a plant, you can literally like rub it on the scar area or banish cells <laughs> and it's pretty cheap too. It's only $15. They sell the aloe vera oil. Um, it's awesome. Like, especially if you're breaking out and you have really sensitive skin, like me with my ginger skin, it's really good. Uh, what do I use as a facial cleanser? I use the Neutrogena sensitive skin. It's in this like big square with the pump. It's like, I think it's 10 bucks, but it lasts me like two or three months. It's really good. Uh, how satisfied am I with Accutane? How my skin looks now? Um, I would say I'm really satisfied. I mean, if you, it used to be really bad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I think it's unrealistic to think um, I'm never gonna get a pimple ever again in my life. You know, obviously, I am, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I am, I would say I'm satisfied. The only thing, like I didn't know that since it skinned your, or thinned your skin out so bad that that is probably what, not causes scarring, 
but I feel like it kind of does a little bit. Like, I feel like before Accutane, my scars weren't as bad, but when I talked to my dermatologist about it, she just told me that that was because I had all the cystic acne there, so that once it was gone, that's when I noticed the scars. It's like you focus on one thing, so you don't notice the other, so then if you start to focus on, like, if I start to focus on my scars, what if they went away? Then I'd be like, oh, uh my pores you know what i mean so it's like you're not focused on that specific thing uh but yeah i am satisfied with accutane i wanted to try banish was wondering if it actually works how long did it take for me to notice a difference why does everyone always ask me if it actually works yes it works i swear it works so good um it, how long to notice a difference probably like two to three months like not long at all my skin though like coming off of retin-a and accutane was super dry and dead looking so it only like added a glow to my face and just started to smooth everything out i would not post about something that i didn't think worked i promise like i have i have no interest in doing that i have no gain um have i used fresh soy cleanser i have not used that but it sounds good did I go straight to Accutane or I try other antibiotics? I tried uh, the doxycycline and it made me throw up. So bad, like three days, four days in a row, could not get off the toilet. So I had to go on Accutane after that. How do you use the pumpkin mask from Banish? Um, so the pumpkin mask is like an exfoliating mask. So you only want to use it once or twice a week. And you just paint like a thin layer on with like a little brush or something and then let it dry usually for about for me it's about 25 30 minutes and then you just rinse it off consider other treatments for scars besides banish like lasers and fillers um not lasers because i have never heard anyone have like a positive experience from lasers i've heard a lot of people been like let down and then fillers that freaks me out so no i'm not going to do that because what if you have a bad reaction like years later and your face oils up like there's no telling what could happen from that i have thought though about uh, professional skin needling where they use a deeper needle like a longer one and then your skin like bleeds it's like more downtime than needling. but i have definitely thought about that but you know i am in school and i'm constantly working and i have to save money that's like why well, I haven't done it yet. Maybe once I get some money, I'll definitely try it. But I don't know how expensive it is there, but in the States, like, it's considered a cosmetic procedure, so it's not covered by your insurance. So I know lasers usually are like a couple of thousands of dollars, which I'm like, <laughs> bye Felicia. Do I use makeup on Accutane? Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember. What did I use? I used the Naked Skin by Urban Decay a couple times, but then once my skin became more sensitive, I think it has like a fragrance in it and it kind of burns, so I stopped using it. And I think I started using the a Cosmetic CC Cream. I think that's mainly what I used. I had to stop Accutane because of elevated liver enzymes, so I use natural products. Turmeric, my fave, yeah. Yeah, girl, turmeric is good. You look beautiful, you look beautiful. Sup, Holmes? Um, did you notice the banish roller to enlarge your pores? Mm -mm. No, I didn't notice that it made my pores any bigger. If anything, I would say it would make them smaller. I've never really had a problem with my pores, I guess. But for that, you can always use the pore smasher is really good because it constricts the blood vessel, so it tightens it up. Dry acne is usually like caused by, okay, so you said what's dry acne. I forgot, I gotta read the question. Um, dry acne is usually caused by over like exfoliation or just like your skin being way too dry. Um, and for that, like I said, I would just like leave it alone. Literally like don't do anything to it and it usually will go away. Have I had bad breakouts since being off Accutane? I have not had bad ones, but the past couple, okay, so I stayed clear until the past couple menstrual cycles, <laughs> ew, <laughs> that I had um, these past two. I've gotten a cyst one on each one. Um, so I wouldn't say that's bad, but I'm kind of a, a little bit annoyed that I'm still getting cysts. Um, I am looking into a different birth control, but I have been on the same one since I was like, 16 so i don't want to mess with my hormones that much what foundation do i use l'oreal pro matte and pro glow yes i love the vitamin c serum do i like the vitamin c serum i love the vitamin c serum and i mix it with the vitamin c cream 
it's good, it's good. Um, I use that like every night. How often do I use the roller? You only wanna use it once every two weeks because it helps to simulate the new collagen production. So if you use it any more than that, you're not giving your skin enough time to heal. So just once every two weeks. Product live story, everyone says yes to do that. Okay, so now I'm like catching up. I will do a product live story. I will do it whenever I have a minute. It might not be until the end of the month, but I will definitely do it. Um, I'll just show like, you guys want me to show like my daily, you know, like my foundation that I use. I can show my mascara and then just like my basic cleanser or moisturizer. That way you can like take a picture or whatever and I can be like, this is this. <laughs> I don't think Accutane my acne is already dry. It's so difficult. What does Derma Roller do? Derma Roller helps with scarring. So Derma Rolling wouldn't really help with your acne. You actually don't want a Derma Roll over active acne because it is a, like a microbe and it can spread the bacteria. Derma Roller helps to even out under and acne scars. It helps to fade them over time and it also helps with fine lines. Hello? It also helps with fine lines as well. Like I don't know if you guys remember, but I did have like kind of like some lines on my forehead because Accutane did, you know, thin out my skin so bad, but they're pretty much gone now. So that's good. On Accutane now, lips are miserable. What did you use? Uh, I used Aquaphor and I think by like the sixth month it stopped working and I switched over to Carmex actually and that worked pretty well. Vaseline didn't do anything for me. Like it just, it didn't cut it. It was not good. Did I notice the derma roller to enlarge my pores? Somebody else asked that. No, it didn't make my pores any bigger. That's so weird. I guess I don't really use it right here though. I only use it like on my cheeks and my forehead. You can get rosehip oil um, from like a local, just like a Whole Foods or like a natural grocery store. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon for pretty cheap. You just wanna make sure that it's organic and crust. And rosehip oil can go rancid, so you wanna make sure that you keep it in your fridge as well if you're ordering it. And I think you can get it on Amazon. I got mine for about 15 bucks. Mary Caff says, for anyone on Accutane, Flexitol lip balm is a miracle worker for the lips. So there you go. I've also heard of people using the Dan's Corda Balm, which is specifically made for people who are on Accutane, and you can get that off Amazon. Ah, what blush do you use? Oh, yes. Um, it is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Girl, it smells good, it looks good, it's cheap, no downsides. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I've been using their butter bronzer since they came out with it like last year, but they just came out with something called Butter Blush. It smells just like summer, it's good. And I think it's like six bucks, yes. Jackie team today, I start next week. Ooh, hello, <laughs> what should I expect? Um, expect dryness. I mean, everyone's different, but expect dryness, expect to be tired, expect maybe to be like a little bit moody, not feeling like yourself, definitely. Um, if you do get any symptoms like severe headache or severe depression, make sure that you contact your dermatologist. Um, just expect to be, honestly, just, you're gonna be really dry. <laughs> like your eyes are gonna be dry, your skin's gonna be dry, you're just gonna, be very dry. You might touch something and it'll literally like peel your skin off because your skin is so thin. Um, but yeah, don't be nervous. Don't, I tell people all the time, do not look on the internet because you will literally scare yourself to death if you look at all the horror stories that are on the internet. Only talk to people who have taken Accutane because they mostly have positive things to say. Don't talk to people who haven't taken it because they mostly have negative things to say. How did I hear about all these products? Um, trial and error. <laughs> Just finding what works for you, I guess. I have sunburns on my face, what product can I try? Um, I would, if you're sunburned, I would definitely just leave your skin alone. Uh, you could use like aloe vera. It would help calm it down a lot. Um, I don't know if you've ever used the Leaders mask. You can get them at Ulta for like five bucks. They have one called Too Much Fun in the Sun and it's literally made for if you're sunburned and that always helps me a lot. I did laser. It is not good for scars and big pores. Yeah, that's what I've heard from everyone that they did not like it. Literally every single person has told me do not do laser, so. What do I think about chemical peels? Um, yeah, I honestly haven't researched enough about them, but I did, someone did tell me not to, <laughs> someone on my Snapchat told me not to ever do it 
because apparently it can mess up your skin for life. That is a sock. He just put a sock on me. What are you doing? But yeah, I don't know enough about them. I think I would have to research more. I guess what I've really been looking at was just the um, professional skin needling treatments. Bear, nobody wants a dirty sock. Can I use Vanish treatment while on Accutane or wait till you're done? You definitely, you can use like any of the masks or anything like that, but you can't use the micro needling tool while you're on, um, or what? the banisher <laughs> while you're on Accutane. You definitely don't want to use that because your skin is so sensitive. You want to wait at least five to six months until you treat your scars more aggressively. Um, also, don't use the pumpkin mask because I think it has like the active enzymes in it and it could burn your skin. But you can use anything else. I would definitely recommend the aloe vera oil actually while you're on Accutane. I wish I would have had it because it calms down the redness a lot. And if you have dry skin, it helps a lot. And Somebody earlier was talking about dry acne. Yes, I had that going on and it got rid of it. Actually, I did a dumb thing at work. Um, so I actually, <laughs> I have a couple jobs and one of them I work at uh, Ulta and I tried the new, it was like the It Cosmetics uh, Confidence in a Cream, the compact. Yeah, just on my chin and my chin broke out. Just like literally only on my chin. So I will not be using that again, no. I will not use that. Um, how can I get rid of cystic acne? I couldn't get rid of mine, so I had to go on Accutane, unfortunately. Um, I mean, you could try cutting out dairy. I've heard helps a lot of people if you don't want to see a dermatologist. Um, yeah, that was the only thing that helped me. You could try antibiotics as well if you didn't want to. What is a pore smasher? It is a device that banish cells and it you keep it in your fridge. So it's like a little ice block and you keep it in your fridge and whenever you want to use it, you just snap it onto the handle and then you can roll it over your face and it will like tighten the blood vessels in your face. It's like doing an ice facial at home. So it'll constrict the blood vessels in your face and it'll do thing look like um, It'll be smooth and it'll calm down any inflammation that you have from your acne. Does the pore smasher work permanently? So, oh, days. I have noticed that when I use it, it'll work for about pretty much like if I do it before I put makeup on, I think I can see results like all day. Probably about six hours you can see results for. How long to wait to wear makeup when you use the derma roller? Um, so you can actually, since the needles are only 0.5 millimeters, you can start wearing makeup the next day. Like you can continue your skincare routine that next morning. Uh, so you, I think it's like eight hours is the time you wanna wait. So usually I roll at night before bed and then I wake up and you can do everything normal in the morning. Uh, as a moisturizer, I use the vitamin C cream and I mix a little bit of aloe vera oil now. And it's good. It's good. Uh, glycolic peel product. I have, and I think that works pretty good. I was actually about to buy um, the Exuviance Performance Peel. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's like a six week thing that you do and it's supposed to help with like fine lines. And I feel like, you know, it would help with this because these are lines. I was gonna try it and see, we'll see. But yeah, I have used it and I think it works pretty good. Um, but it does make my skin a little dry. Hey, I am using apple cider vinegar to wipe my face, add egg to my face, leave it on for 15 minutes, then wash my face with baking soda. Oh girl, that's a lot of work. Then I put on Retin-A, 0.05%, it works. Uh, I do use apple cider vinegar as my toner, actually. I made a video about it, I think, like a few weeks ago. But yeah, I do use that. And I used to use Retin-A, but it started giving me a right here around my mouth, so I had to stop using it. How many times can I use the roller till I throw it out? So I think that the site says to use it, um, I think the site says to use it four times. Um, I usually stretch mine out to five, but I really wouldn't use it any more than like five or six because the needles start to get dull and it starts to like grow bacteria in it. Even if you are sanitized, you cannot get in between like the little tiny spokes. So I definitely would not use it any more than that. Um, and really, if you think about it, if you are doing, okay, hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you are doing it once every um, two weeks, that's like every, basically three months, which isn't bad. I think that's like $25 a month. That's not, it's really not that bad. When did I start derma rolling after Accutane? Uh, five and a half months I started. Does it enlarge pores? I think you're talking about the derma roller. I was using it around that area to minimize it. It, it 
I shouldn't. I've never heard of it enlarging pores. Um, but I did have like a bunch of people ask me that, so that's really weird. I don't think it would. I think if anything, it would make your skin um, smoother. Does everyone see this right now? I think it would make your skin smoother, so it shouldn't be enlarging your pores. Um, that's why, honestly, I started taking progress pictures because I felt like I wasn't seeing enough progress. So if you take pictures maybe before and after to see if it really is enlarging your pores, then maybe. I'll try the recipe oil. I had acne for eight years. My skin is dry, so I just use aloe face wash. Yeah, aloe is really good for your skin. Thanks for your help. Girl, I will help you as much as I can help you. I've been at Accutane for 10 days now. When did I start seeing results? Um, probably by like the third month is like when I noticed like significant changes. Any advice for teens with acne? Uh, yeah, it won't last forever. Um, it's only gonna be there for a little bit so don't let it prevent you from doing things that you want to do from like hanging out with your friends or you know going out or whatever just don't let it hold you back because it's not anything to be ashamed about it's normal and you will get through it which one is best for hyperpigmentation scars jojoba rosehip or argon um, I like rosehip oil. Jojoba oil is actually a wax, but it is the closest thing to your skin's natural sebum. So if you have oily skin, jojoba oil is really good for regulating the oil production. Um, argon oil, I actually really like, but apparently it's not regulated to put on your skin because I read some reports where I guess it can cause eczema. Not really sure. I haven't been using it lately. Um, but for hyperpigmentation, definitely rosehip oil for sure. I'm on my last month. Do I have any advice for the first day without Accutane? Yeah, just um, keep living your life and don't worry if your acne is going to come back because regardless if you worry or not, it's not going to change anything. Um, I was really worried at first. Like I was literally like staring at my face in the mirror like every day for probably... The first two or three weeks, I was like, oh my God, is it going to come back? Is it going to come back? Is it going to come back? But you will, you will realize like you don't have to worry about it anymore. So just relax. It'll be good. I promise. And if it's not good, you'll figure it out and it'll be good again. No matter what, it'll work out. Should teens with acne take medication from the doctors or let it heal itself? That, my friend, is up for you to decide. Um, say depending on how... I got, and sorry, I just got this thing that Love Season 2 is gonna come on, and I actually really like that show, so I'm very excited. Um, sorry, but teens with acne, um, that, yeah, that's definitely up for you to decide, depending on how severe it is. Uh, I have heard, actually, my friend had really bad acne when she was, like, in sixth grade and had to go to Cutane because it was, like, that bad. It was, like, disfiguring her face. But, yeah. I think that you should definitely probably listen to your doctor unless you think that they're a dimwit, <laughs> but you should in most cases listen to your doctor. I've never had a case where my acne just went away by itself. I've always had to use something. So I think it's good to get, you know, a professional opinion and see what they think at least. Any advice for helping fade dark spots? Uh, just time and, rose, I mean, rosehip oil. <laughs> But yeah, basically just time. I mean, I feel like there's nothing that's just gonna be like a magic trick and then it just goes away. Did I find that redness went down? Hey Sky, hey girl. Did I find that redness went down after stopping Accutane? I feel like my scars are much redder. Yeah, I definitely felt like my skin looked way worse like towards the end of my treatment because your skin is so thin, like you can see every little thing. Um, but yeah, I do think redness definitely went down towards the end of it. Definitely like, month six i didn't really have very much left and then once i got off it like almost completely went away how long until my skin got normal thick not sensitive after accutane uh, a couple of months and i think derma rolling too has helped it to become like less thin if that makes sense probably about four or five months is when i started noticing have i used baking soda on my face i have not I've not used baking soda, but I imagine it would like, I don't know, fizzle or be like bubbly or something. <laughs> I don't know. I have used the, I don't know if you guys ever used the like Aztec Indian clay healing mask. 
Um, it's like the big one. It's Benetite clay. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Hopefully it's not Benetite. Uh, that's really good. And I mix that with activated charcoal mask from Banish. And I use, um, <laughs> I use apple cider vinegar. Do I multi-mask? If so, with which masks? Yes, the ones I just said. I use the Aztec clay mask. Um, which you can get off Amazon for super cheap. It literally is the best mask ever. It makes your face pulsate. And I mix the activated charcoal that I get from Banish with that mask. And it's so good. Like it's like the strongest mask ever. And if you leave it on overnight, like on an area, it'll be gone in the morning, which is super cool. Yeah, if you have blemishes, you can still use it. Just avoid the whiteheads. Yeah, you can totally do it. I use the roller and I skip like a whole month. That's totally fine. I mean, whenever you have time to do it, honestly. I've totally forgot, I mean, I've forgotten about it before too. But they also make, um, if you do still have active acne like a lot, they make a pin stamp and that's good because instead of rolling, you just stamp like the scar area. I actually use that <laughs> to target like my deeper scars and I'll just stamp it like, <laughs> like four or five times. Does Accutane get rid of acne scars, like red marks? No, it doesn't. Um, it actually only treats acne. It'll help with like any super you have, so any like, like any super like shallow scars that you have, it'll help a little bit. But it doesn't get rid of acne scars, just acne. I find your nature is so fabulous and kind of literally so helpful to us, the ones who are suffering. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Have you had any under the skin acne come back? How long did it take to go away? Yeah, um, I definitely have had some acne. I wouldn't, I didn't really have any like under the skin, but I have had acne since Accutane. And it's taken, like if I have a cyst, it's taken like a week to go away. Um, okay, so I know, I know that you're not supposed to pop cyst, but if I pop them, they go, like if it has a head, and you can pop it. Mine goes away in like two days. But if it doesn't have a head and you can't pop it, it literally takes a month. So why? Cause I know you're not supposed to pop it cause that could like increase the chances of it scarring. Um, but I had one right here. I did not, and I still have the red mark. And I had one right here and it popped it. Okay, this is gross, but I, it popped itself like in the shower because there was so much pressure in the hot water. It just, and it literally went away. Like, it, it's all gone. Even the redness is gone. So I don't really know why that happened. Do I recommend Accutane? When did my skin start clearing up? Um, so that's just gonna, again, depend on the person. I was never it when my dermatologist originally told, when my dermatologist originally told me that I was going to be going on Accutane. Well, we did decide together. I had only heard like horrible horror stories about it and I just I didn't want to do it I she she's the one who actually told me only talk to people who have done it and, and finding people that have done it and they all told me good things which is why I ultimately decided to go on it because I was, I was literally scared to death I was like oh my god I'm gonna like never be able to have babies was like something that I heard which is not true at all and I thought that again I thought it was something that made your acne like really bad before it got better doesn't for most people she says it doesn't for most people and it didn't make mine worse it only made mine better um so for me it wasn't that bad and I only get acne like a little bit now it's definitely not as bad as it was so yes I guess I would you know recommend it if you are suffering with severe acne that physically hurts or it hurts you emotionally to the point where you can't live your daily life because it is literally life-changing to not to wake up and not have to think about, you know, where, what pimple, you know, is gonna, am I gonna have to cover up today? Or like, wake up and just be afraid to do normal stuff and worry that people are staring at your face. So yes, I guess I would recommend it. What milligram of Accutane was I on? Did my job, did my dot change it at all? I was on 60 milligrams uh, my entire course. Um, I was only supposed to be on it for five months, 60 milligrams, but I was on it for six months, 60 milligrams. Can I use the Aztec mask on Accutane? Um, I wouldn't, it's like really harsh on your skin. Well, not really harsh, but 
honestly, I didn't use anything except for rosehip oil sometimes at night while I was on Accutane. You want to kind of just like let the process happen and not put too many things on your skin. Skincare routine. Uh, so I just wash my face in the morning with the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Soap, and then I'll use my apple cider vinegar toner, and then I moisturize with the Banish Vitamin C Serum mixed with a little bit of aloe vera. It's a product from Banish I recommend the most for hyperpigmentation or scars. I can't afford the whole kit, so individual products if possible. Um, you definitely want to get the Banisher with the Vitamin C Serum. That will help you the most if you have um, texture because that is physically getting in there and forcing your skin to reproduce new collagen. So yeah, I would definitely get that. What brand of rosehip oil is Radha? Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's the one actually that I use. Just like I said before, make sure that you keep it in your fridge because I learned the hard way that it does go bad and it doesn't smell like roses. So when you get it, don't expect it to smell like roses because it smells pretty gross. <laughs> But yeah, Broad Hot is good. It should be like a ambery orange color. And then once you like put it on your skin after a couple minutes, like 10 minutes, it'll go to normal. Can I use Banish Derma Roller for red marks? Yeah, you could. Um, need their vitamin C serum or their vitamin C cream, I think would help a lot with the red marks or again, the rosehip oil. <laughs> is Axone any good? I actually didn't like it. I was prescribed that before my antibiotics, before Accutane, and it didn't, <laughs> didn't do anything for my acne. It's getting worse for you. I don't know if it's supposed to purge or not, but it just did not do anything for my skin. What was the hardest part about being on Accutane? Um, just like the tiredness, just being tired all the time. I feel like that's not me. I'm always doing something. Like if I'm at school or I'm at work or I'm cooking or I'm going on a jog, I just didn't want to do anything. Like I didn't have any motivation. So I guess that was the hardest part. And then somebody said, how did I deal with the emotional part of having acne? Um, I guess I just kept telling myself, you know, it has to go away eventually. And then also anyone who like loves you or cares about you, they're not gonna care if you have acne. And if they do care, then they don't matter. Like, why would you want someone in your life that makes you feel bad or clean? So honestly, I would just say, don't worry about it. And I think for me, it was a lot easier because I am, you know, I am married. So I never had to worry about like dating, I guess, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I guess just remember that it's not forever. It has to go away eventually and that you're beautiful regardless, honestly. Tea tree oil is great for redness. I use it every night. Yeah, I love tree oil. Have you had your hormones checked to see what was causing your cystic acne? My dermatologist thinks that it, thinks <laughs> that it is genetic uh, because my dad had really bad acne apparently, says my mom. I don't know if my dad's still watching this or my mom. Um, but she did think it was genetic because he had really bad acne, I guess for like a year or two and then it just went away and he hasn't had any since. Um, I had no changes in like my food, no changes in my face wash, no changes in my hormones. I actually have been on the same birth control since I was 16. Um, I'd never stopped taking it. So I think that was like the hardest part for me was to be like, I didn't do anything. Um, it's not my fault that this acne just like came upon me. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes you feel like, oh my God, what did I do? Uh, it's my fault. Like, how can I fix this? But it's just important. It's not your fault. Uh, so yeah. It's not my hormones because I've been on the same birth control and I have had them checked actually. Have I had any peels for acne scars? I have not had any chemical peels yet. Um, I've thought about it, but I haven't had any. Getting rid of sugar except fruits has completely cleared up your skin. Yeah, probably I could see that. Holy girl items I would recommend for acne. Uh, aloe vera oil, uh, the Aztec Indian clay mask and then some form of activated charcoal. All right, thank you guys to everyone who tuned in. My dog does want to play, so I gotta go play with them. Okay, thank you, bye, have a good day, bye. Bye, bye, bye.